unconfirmed reports this morning that a plane has crashed into one of the towers of the World Trade Center. The CNN Center right now is just beginning to work on this story, obviously calling our source. To learn the next day that he also repossessed her station wagon. That is, once again, a picture of one of the towers of the World Trade Center. Well, you can see these pictures. It's obviously uh, something devastating has happened. And again, unconfirmed report that a plane has crashed into one of the towers. Well, for one thing, he didn't have to deal with them. He had so much money that he could lay naked in a bed, blacked out room, talking on the telephone, and do all his business. Everybody else was out there doing it. And on top of that, he was a sociopath. He didn't like people. He didn't like even his aides who were the only of coverage. How much attention do two and a half million dead merit? It's a story we should have brought you long ago. This week on Nightline, we'd like to make up for that by finally telling you. Europa got the chance to speak with him about his evolving style. She's incredible, baby. Everywhere, so she was concerned. Here are the rules for when someone would come into the room where he was staying. This is part of a memo. It says, before opening the door to the room, right. the man is to stand with a folded newspaper in his right hand, rapidly wave it for at least a minute to eliminate the possibility that flies will enter the room. Using eight Kleenexes placed in the left hand, the man who's rapidly waving the newspaper will knock on the door. When HRH responds, the man will open the door using the hand with the Kleenex. I mean... Right, as opposed to the dirty hand. I mean, hello, Howard, you know. The, the man was a bit compulsive, let's face it, but on the other hand, he was absolutely the most amazing man that America has ever created, ever. Okay, I have got to interrupt you right now. Sorry. Richard Hack, thank you very much. We appreciate it. The book is called Hughes. We want to go live right now and show you a picture of the World Trade Center where I understand... Do we have it? No, we do not. We have a breaking story, though. We're going to come back with that in just a moment. First, this is today on NBC. Watch your What kind of plane? Was it a small plane? A, a it jet? Was a, uh, it was a jet. It uh, looked like a two engine jet, um, maybe a 737. You're talking about a large passenger commercial large jet? Large passenger commercial jet. And where were you when you saw this? I am on the 21st floor of Five Pen Plaza. Did it appear that the plane was having any difficulty flying? Yes, it did. It was teetering uh, back and forth, wingtip to wingtip, and it looked the way car buying should be. Welcome to Wardrobe 911. These three friends came to us with a problem. How do you get that designer look without breaking the bank? Wow, great designer. Fortunately, it's Designer Week at Ross. We found some of the top labels at fabulous prices. At Designer Week, you'll find the latest in career and casual clothing at unbelievable savings. That looks so expensive. Oh, thank you. Thank Designer Week at Ross. And you can do it, too. Designer Week at Ross. Don't miss it. What makes you smile? Every day at McDonald's, we're serving up a variety of great tastes at breakfast. Whether you like scrambled eggs with pancakes, egg McMuffins, sausage biscuits with egg, or our delicious bagel sandwiches, we've got something hot, fresh, and made to order just for you. And remember, no breakfast is complete without coffee and the cool, fresh-squeezed taste of Minute Maid orange juice. Start off your day, every day, with breakfast variety at McDonald's. We love to see you smile. As Matt just mentioned, we have a breaking news story to tell you about. Apparently, a plane has just crashed into the World Trade Center here in New York City. It happened just a few moments ago, apparently. We have very little information available at this point in time.